Gifts for a king. There's a lot of speculation about where did the wise men come? There's a, through the centuries, people have felt like they came from either Babylon or, or, or Persia. There was still a large Jewish colony there. Scholars that could have been searching the scriptures. I kind of hold with the people who feel like maybe they came from uh, Saudi Arabia, an area called Sheba. This is thought because, first of all, frankincense comes from there. And they have many gold mines. Even those who feel like they came from Persia or Babylon feels like they came down to uh, the east side of Jordan. And there, that's where they bought their gifts to take, take in because these gifts actually did come from Sheba. But I, I hold to it because uh, not only the gifts, but um, the son of David, Solomon, when he became king, the queen of Sheba came bearing gold and spices. And now the wise men come bearing the, the son of David, gold and spices. Uh, Isaiah says this, and all from Sheba will come bearing gold and incense. Well, the wise men did two very important things for Joseph. First thing. First thing they did was rouse up Herod. Oh, Joseph wanted to stay in Bethlehem. Oh, but when Herod got roused up, when he knew there was another king, they came talking about the king of the Jews. Wow, Herod couldn't be the king of the Jews because Caesar wouldn't let him be. If he was king of the Jews, that meant he was king of Jews wherever they were at. No, no, he was king of Judah. And then to hear there was the king of the Jews being born, he was very suspicious anyway. He, he hired spies that constantly spied on the people. And they killed anyone who would, who would even show any, incl any inclination of, 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 of rebelling. He even killed his favorite wife. Uh, and, and about a few months before Herod died, he killed his two favorite sons. And then five days before he died, now the two favorite sons were, had been groomed to take over the kingdom. So a third son was put in that position, and five days before Herod died, he killed that son. Caesar said, he said, I would rather be Herod's pig than to be Herod's son. The second thing that the wise men did for Joseph is finance the raising of Jesus. You see, when Joseph came to Bethlehem, he was poor. We know this because when Mary sacrificed at the temple, she sacrificed two turtle doves, so she was poor. And yet, after that, the wise men came, gave them the gold and the spices they need to basically finance Joseph going back to Nazareth, setting up a construction company, and having the means to raise Jesus there and make sure that he had a good education and a good skill. But before they went there, they went to Egypt. Now, when they went to Egypt, that was not uh, so uh, uncommon. The second largest Jewish colony was in Egypt. Uh, the first was in Judah. They were there during the. They went there during the days of Jeremiah, and uh, when they went down there, and they were also there even uh, even before that. I often wondered, did Joseph gain something in Egypt that caused him to go back and start a construction crew? Did he possibly learn that skill in Egypt? Well, no one knows. We just know that Joseph wasn't called a carpenter before Jesus was born. But, he, but after Jesus is a, a man, Joseph was called a carpenter as well as Jesus himself. Well, uh, next week we'll deal more with that um, construction company that Joseph started. When we deal with Jesus at 12 years old. So come back next week when we give you more insights on the story of the week.
We'll see you next week.